Hi, I'm Michael and this is California. And with the rise of the California Employment Development Department, that's the EDD, denying or reducing so many people's unemployment claims, Californians in many cases can unexpectedly lose their unemployment benefits. At the moment, the only real recourse that they have if they think they were wrongly denied benefits is to submit an appeal to the unemployment agency. And that can be lengthy, frustrating, and an arduous process. But the good news about appeals for people who have been denied is that they can be overturned and in many cases are reinstated as long as a person follows the appeals process. So today we are talking about briefly the process to submit an appeal to the California Employment Development Department, that is the EDD, what are some important things for you to know about the process and go over some resources that can help you if you get stuck or getting pushback from the EDD. Now this is your daily dose and before we get to it, if you like this information, if you find it interesting, if you find it helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. Right now, at a time when so many people's livelihoods are hanging by the thin benefits that they qualify for through the unemployment, the EDD has started to get caught up with its verification process and also denying or reducing people's benefits, whether it's correctly or incorrectly, for Californians on a daily basis. The only way to get your benefits reinstated if you think you were incorrectly denied benefits is through the appeals process. Now, despite being a bit of a bureaucratic maze, for those people who are able to get through the whole process, quote, the general overturn rate is over 50% in favor of the claimant. And in cases that involve notices of determinations, finding people ineligible for benefits based on identification, verification, and didn't send in the documents in time, according to EDD, those are currently being overturned at a 92% rate. This says the executive director of the Centers for Workers' Rights, Daniela Urban. So although the process can be a bit time consuming, there is at least a set laid out course to get through the process and some expectation of success if you have a legitimate appeal. Luckily, the EDD has put out a handy dandy flow chart, and you gotta love bureaucrats, that shows what the steps are in the process to get the EDD appeal completed. So let's look at the chart and we can talk about the steps in this whole process. The first step in the process is once you've received your notice of determination from the EDD that shows when your benefits are being denied, then you will have 30 days to submit your appeal to the EDD. They, in turn, will send your appeals request to the California Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board, CUIAB. If you don't get your appeal submitted within 30 calendar days, according to CUIAB, your appeals may be declined unless you can show good cause why your appeal was filed late. Appeals can be submitted with a standardized EDD appeal form, and I'll put that down below for you all to have, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be a simple letter in writing that includes one, the name and the mailing address of the person who's appealing, two, the employer's name and the account number of the person appealing, and the social security of any person who's included on the claim. Additionally, a letter should include a phone number, email, and a date of when the EDD notice of determination was sent out, as well as the reason why you're appealing included with a signature and a date. But really, I would guess the form might be much easier, neater, and organized for the EDD to process and get done quickly. So once the CUIAB received your appeal request and processes it, it will create a new notice of hearing that will be mailed out to you at least 10 days prior to the hearing. The notice will have the time, the date and the location of your hearing on it. On the date of your hearing, your appeal will be heard by a judge and they will rule on whether or not they think you were correctly or incorrectly denied your benefits. Now, if that judgment doesn't go your way, then you are still able to appeal the judge's decision and take it to the CUIAB board directly, which can review the judge's decision. This second appeal must be submitted to the CUIAB within 30 days of the judge's decision. Also, that appeal for the judge's decision has its own form as well, and I'll put that down below in English and Spanish also. Once the board rules on their decision, and if that one doesn't go your way, it's not on the chart, but you are able to take it to your county superior civil court and petition to have the CUIAB's decision overturned as well. So as you can see, the process is daunting and time consuming just to explain, let alone actually get through the process. But if you think you can complete it on your own, first, my hat's off to you. But if you don't think you can, there are nonprofit and community organizations that are out there to help you through the process. One of which is the Center for Workers' Rights that specializes in helping Californians with employment related issues. Another is your local legal aid society who is able to help you on the local level work through this process as well. So really, however you do it, it's important to act because 
Once you get your notifications, the clock is ticking and the process needs to start ASAP. Once you're outside of those set timeframes for submission, you may end up out of luck or at best waiting extra time for benefits that you need and are entitled to. Now, this has been your daily dose, and I hope that you found it interesting or helpful or at least useful. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That way you can get updates when our newest and most informative videos become available. So that's it for me and for California. I'm Michael wishing you a happy, healthy day.